I want to share with you today how to take a Universal AudioVox uh, headrest, DVD player, uh, SD card, USB, audio input, earphones out, uh, two system, and making it transportable so you can put it into any car. You would still have to put them in the headrest slot. So you're still going to have to remove the back panel of the seats, but using this method you don't have to hotwire it into the car. So um, basically, <laughs> this is the 12 volt that you where you would normally wire it into the car. And these go down in the headrest. These move in and out so you, it's adjustable for the headrest of your car. And you can use one or you can use both. Um, I'll show you how tell you how to do it. I'm not going to actually put it in the car. There's lots of um, videos about how to do that. This is the HD908TT whatever black audio box. Um, I don't remember the number of it right now, but it's one of the just ones you can purchase to replace your um, headrest in your car. So if you want to do one, you need one that has uh, audio out only. You don't need the audio uh, in because you're not actually going to hook it up to anything. You're just going to play your things on here and you can stick all of the things you need to in here and this pops open and this opens and your DVD player's in there. So you would need just the um, audio out cables and then just a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter and then I'll just show you how quick it's really easy to slice it on. So I'm just showing you on a how to do it with using a, an old phone charger that we don't need anymore. Obviously it's an old flip phone. So I was just going to show you how to do it quickly on that. So basically you leave as much of the length of cord as you can so that you can wire it through the back of the seat, slide it under the seat, and then just have this so you can plug it into the cigarette lighter and then unplug it um, and put it under the seat when you're not there. And just a quick aside, you can get some old car seat covers and just cut the top off and just put elastic or pin them, gather them with some elastic on the sides and just slide them over these so nobody knows that you have these. And then when you want to use them, you just pull that elastic car seat cover top off and there you go. You have it. So they're protected from somebody stealing them or thinking they could get something out of them. Obviously they'd have to cut the wires or whatever and would make them pretty useless, but that's a way to cover them and keep them from getting sun damaged or um, scratched if you when they aren't in use. Um, I know my daughter only wants to use them when they're on long trips and not have the kids used to using them in town. So that's one way you can make quick covers for the top if you didn't purchase any when you, with your kid or if you bought it used or whatever. So um, 12 volt um, you got to just make sure you can check on here it says DC 12 volt and then your jack has to be DC 12 volt as well. Now I used one that we had from an old DVD player that would plug into the car and so I didn't have to spend any money on this and I actually got the set in a box but, um, at a Yuck second hand store for $17 with everything in it and it works fine I have tested it out and it's great and it doesn't look like they've ever been used I think somebody ordered them and then never installed them so what you do is you cut it off as far back as you can to the to the plug so that you have as much wire as you need to put it under the seat and go into the lighter so then if if the cord you use is split you can see this one split down the middle then you just take some scissors and you cut it down the split uh, about maybe an inch and a half and then I just take the scissors and let's see if I can show you this I just take the scissors here I'll show you on this half because it's already so I just take the scissors and I just gently squeeze them around I don't have a, a stripper wire stripper so I just take the scissors and I just twist it around and around and around and then you can see that the wires are there and it pulls right off yeah. So I just use scissors, but you don't cut it, you just gently kind of squeeze. And then you do the same thing with these. Now they cut really easy and 
so you don't want to cut them. But because I did it gently all the way around, that one was already cut and was able to pull off, and this one probably will too. Now on some of them, the positive is copper and the like on this one, and the ground is just I don't know, probably aluminum maybe I don't know tin something I don't know something that is grounded. So you can tell that way. You can use a voltmeter and check it out, but basically on all the ones I've cut, either they're different color wires, and you know that the copper would conduct electricity, so that's your, your positive there, or they're red and black, which is the standard. So you put the red to the red, and the black to the black. So you strip both ends of your grounding wire, and, and then your um, plug. And then you do the same with the power. So it's DC, 12 volt. And we know that this is 12 volt. And then you can put a clamp on them, wire clamp, and then, or just electrical tape them really, really well. But I just didn't have that because I wanted you to see how to do it. So just I just twisted them together. But you have to put something over them so they don't touch. You don't want the ground wire touching that. And you never want them open and exposed when it's plugged into electricity. So you want to do uh, slice them like that. You, you can put a crimper on them if you have a crimper. Um, a lot of people don't know how to do that, so and you don't want to buy the tool and the, the little crimpy clamps to do that, so you can just put a, a cap on them, or you can crimp them if you have it, and then just put on um, some electrical tape really well around them. Now, so they come with these plugs that have these covers, and they slide down and over, and they're really easy to plug in. So to stick them in the car, you take these apart. They just pop off. They're pretty easy to pop off. Okay, so you pop off. Now, I just have them wrapped up so I could show you more easily because they're really long and gangly. So you don't need these RCA plugs if you're not going to attach the second headrest. You would just need, they would just hang loose underneath because there is no audio out to go into the second unit. But if but if you do, then you would need this second power cord to give the power out to the next power in. So you undo these cords, you thread these carefully down through the headrest, pop off the back of the seat, and every car is different. You can watch a YouTube tutorial on that. It's not that difficult. Pop off the back, then you thread this down, take off the old one. Sometimes you need a key, or um, sometimes there's a little hole, and you need a... Um, safety pin, uh, not a safety pin, yeah, so you can use a safety pin or a, a paper clip and you just have to pop, pop it so that you can move these up and down or take the other ones off. Um, so once you take them off then you can slide these in or out and make them fit and, and slide them down in, but you have to thread these coils down in first and you want to be careful not to damage them as you're sliding them down in. Then you push these together, fit it in, slide it down, and adjust it to what height you want. Then you pull these down through the back, and then you can put put these. You thread the second half um, under the seat through to the cable, the power outlet thing. So this would be under the seat, or you could put it by the side of the seat, um, down the middle of the two, if you want between the seats, if you wanted, like under a console or something, up to where your power cigarette lighter is. Or if you have a cigarette lighter in the back seat, a lot of cars do. You can just um, run it down through the back seat and actually plug it into the cigarette lighter in the back. But um, sometimes parents want control, so you could run this through underneath the seat up and just have it underneath the seat and then pick it up and stick it in on your laundry trip. So you stick that under the seat and you wire this underneath the seat. This part is back through the back of the seat. And then um, once you've got this through the back of the seat, you plug the two together. So if you only have one, and they're really easy, there's a little line so you can't mess it up. If you can see that, there's a little lip, so they go in only one direction. You don't want to damage those little pins that are going in there. You need that for the um, video to go out. So um, you put those, snap them both on. So this one's kind of a reddish color, and then this one's green. So that goes down through the seat. This is going down through the back of the seat, under the seat. You pop these on from under the seat, and you plug that into the cigarette lighter. And once these are snapped, you can slide this cover up to protect the cover, the little pins and everything. You don't want those to get dirty or damaged. Okay, now if you're going to hook up the second one, you do the exact same thing. Take off the headrest, 
put these down in, thread these through first, put these down in, adjust it where you want it, thread these through the back of the seat, put the back of the seat back on, and then you don't need this one because you don't need a power source for this one because it's coming from this one. Okay, everything's coming down through this green cable to this right here. So this is a power out and um, audio out, I mean. And so these audio out, you need an RCA plug. Okay, then these RCA plugs, the other end of the RCA plugs, go into the video in. So the yellow goes into the yellow, the red goes into the red, those, you know, right in the speakers. Um, so uh, you plug those into that, and then this main console, whichever one, it doesn't matter which one you put in which, it just means it matters that you have the green coming out of the, the main one into the other one, so that the audio out from one goes into the video in and audio in on the other one. So once you're done with that, this one is really cool, it has a built-in FM player, so you can have stereo sound. Um, through your radio. So you would turn it on and then you come to this little book kind of looking thing and you scroll through it until it says FM and then it will tell you what channel it is and then you turn your radio on to FM and then turn it to that channel and uh, there's other ways to do that. You just check um, your instruction manual to change that station if, if it's a bad station. but um, And then uh, also, you can have people game together. So, if you, you have somebody playing a game and they've got it um, going into here, or they're doing uh, something off the SD, whatever, then it can also play on the second player. You can make one video on both players over their stereo, or you can have one over the stereo. You just unplug the video in. Actually, you can do it from uh, the instructions. I think you can do it separately. Um, and so you can either do them both at the same time or you can do it separately. So somebody can pl be playing a game with their headphones on one and somebody can be watching the DVD um, or something off their device with their um, auxiliary cord on the other one. And they can both be on headsets. These also work with the FM receiver uh, stereo headsets. So the parents can be listening to something in the front and then these will transmit to the receiver headphones that you can order um, and buy uh, online for those. So there's a lot of options with this. It works great. I just watched uh, Ice Princess, I think, um, a minute ago. I just took it out and I didn't um, actually thread it through the car because I was testing it. I'm giving it to them for Christmas. So I just plugged it into my car and then watched it in the front seat <laughs> for a few minutes so that I could make sure that I had it working. So I'm actually going to give it to them for Christmas and then we're going to install it um, before they head home for their kids. And then I'm going to make those car the covers for their headrests so that they can hide them when the kids, they don't want the kids to be entertained by them. So anyway, um, great option being able to have a in. And then it's a great unit. The stereo sound was fabulous. I was really thrilled with the sound over this um, radio. And I have a very old radio in my car, so that was really exciting. And I love the, the DVD read very well, no skipping or anything. And it's a pretty easy system to figure out. So um, anyway, that was, hopefully it was clear enough. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and I will po post some pictures and more descriptions. Um, and you can... Uh, just type in AudioVox at the bottom of the home page um, on my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and you'll find this post with the extra pictures and things. Um, and or you can write me on my blo uh, YouTube channel, Secrets Gratitude, as well. Thanks for watching.